Bennett Marine Hydraulic Trim Tab System is an excellent addition to your boat and will help to balance loads, plane faster, and increase efficiency and performance. Your authorized Bennett Marine retailer can assist you with this project from ordering parts to offering product information and advice, Bennett Marine retailers are there to help. Remember that if you do tackle this job yourself, please follow all applicable laws and remember to use the appropriate safety gear. After installing the trim tabs, it's time to rig the system. Start by preparing the hydraulic power unit. Remove the cover and the filler plug. Add automatic transmission fluid up to the fill line. Fasten the mounting bracket on the inside of the transom with the bottom two fasteners and leave the fasteners loose for now. Remove the fastener from the inside cover of the hydraulic power unit. This will be used to secure the cover to the unit. The rigging harness fits in a channel in the back of the unit. Feed the rigging wires into the channel and replace the cover. Secure it with the fastener. Slide the unit into the mounting bracket. Install the remaining bracket fasteners and tighten. Remove the plugs from the threaded fittings. Thread the nuts onto the exposed fittings. Locate the black ground wire coming from the actuator, cut it to length, and strip the end with wire strippers. Strip the corresponding thin black ground wire that comes from the hydraulic power unit harness. Splice the two wires together with a wire crimp connector. Locate the hydraulic tubing from the actuators and cut it to the length needed to reach the hydraulic power unit. Zip tie the excess wires neatly. Use red electrical tape to mark the hydraulic line coming from the port actuator and green for the starboard actuator. Red and green wires can be seen through the transparent cover. Attach the hydraulic tube to the corresponding lead, red to red and green to green. Insert the hydraulic tube into the corresponding fitting. Apply pressure to the fitting to ensure it bottoms out. Use a 9 16th wrench to tighten the nut. Be careful not to over tighten as this may crack the pump. Repeat this process for the other hydraulic tube. Run the helm control wire through the rigging tube up to the helm. The owner's manual of the control switch includes a true to size template for marking the necessary holes on the console. The template for the control included in this install calls for 3 16 inch holes for the fasteners and a minimum 1 inch hole for the wires. Run the control switch wires through the center hole. Make sure that the switch is oriented with the Bennett logo at the top. Use the plastic nuts to secure the control switch into place. Hand tighten the nuts, but not too tight. These also serve as a prevention to water intrusion. Use 
Use wire strippers to strip the orange power wire and black ground wire coming from the helm control and crimp on the connector cap. Install the relay module in a dry location behind the helm. Run the orange and black wires coming from the relay module to their respective locations. The orange power wire will connect to the hot lead. In this example, the plastic fuse was cut off the orange wire coming from the relay module because the hot lead was already wired to a fuse on the fuse block. Strip and splice the two wires. Run the black ground wire to the fuse panel. Cut it to length, strip it, and crimp on the connector cap. Fasten it to the ground block. Now it's time to connect the hydraulic power unit. Plug in the connector until an audible click is heard. In this example, the boat uses a multicolored Deutsch connector. Most aftermarket relay modules will use a Molex four color connector. Plug the Molex four color connector from the pump into the relay module. Next, connect the actuators to the relay module. In this example, the boat uses Deutsch connectors. Plug in the connectors red to red and green to green. An audible click should be heard when the connectors are fully seated. Most aftermarket relay modules will use two pin connectors for the actuators. Newer aftermarket actuators ship equipped with gray sensor wires for both port and starboard actuators. Labels for port, red, and starboard, green, are provided to assist the installation. Install the two pin connectors into the relay module. Neatly secure the excess wire in a service loop. Connect the blue EIC 14-pin wire harness from the helm control to the relay module. Make sure all the excess wire is neatly secured. Power up the system and test the trim tabs. Press down on the switches. Indicator lights should show the status of the trim tabs. Press up, and again the light should indicate the status of the tabs. Now test the auto retract. Press down on the switches. Simply power down the boat, and the tabs should retract to the full up position. This allows for safe trailering or moving with a forklift for storage. If you have any questions, please refer to the service manual. And remember, if at any time you feel like you're in over your head, contact your authorized Bennett Marine retailer for assistance. Thanks for watching.